Oh, well, work on back traders. This is just something I'm looking at right quick. I'm looking at GBP, USD. As you notice, I'm looking at a clear chart right here. Um, no indicators, no support resistance, no trend lines or anything of that nature. But again, as I always say, once you see it, you'll be unable to not see it. So I'm looking at a clear indication of a bat pattern here. We have our X to A, our B is at 50%, 886 for our C, and we have an 886 for our D point, which is what the D point uh, final completion of a, a bullish bat is. Um, we always want to use a second level of confluence, so we need another fib factor. So we'll take the A to the B and back up into the A, and we're looking for 1618 and want price to have touched that as well. And we see that price definitely has hit the 1618 area. Um, and the 886, if we look a little closer, we'll see some nice rejection here. We don't really see any. Um, bulls that have come in at the moment but we do recognize this nice strong bearish candle whenever you see a candle like that uh, most likely you will be getting some type of um, a retest a pullback so to speak so with this completion of this bullish bat pattern we're looking for a minimum of a 382 and a 618 and we have that here now I just draw a little line here and here and so we're looking for a, a nice retracement at least up to the 382 and we'll see if we're going to continue this to uh, will be a um a continuation up or will it will it um continue to drop um if i go to the daily to see what type of trend we're in um let's remove this right here and actually we can remove this hey when I see that right now we are making higher highs and higher lows um, so we currently are in an uptrend so we may come back up we may come up to 382 fall back down to do a nice little retest or we may just continue um, up to rise but that is um, what I'm looking back looking at right now for this particular pair Okay, so let's draw this out again. We have X, A, B, C, D, right, this, this go right here, D. A nice completion. We have some exhaustion from the bears. Um, you can use price action to um, look for the bulls to come in. Uh, let's see if we have any structure. We have nice, uh, nice structure right around here. Let's see, really, to be honest with you, all of this is some structure we, in a nice level of support. Here, I can even just bring that down right there. We see some nice, um, a good push here once prices come up into this area. It's always pushed up, so. I will just wait for some price action to show some bulls coming into the game if you want to be aggressive um, and go ahead and set your buy. It is quarter to five right now, so the market is going to close. Um, this pair most likely will make its move in London, being that the GBP, um, British pound, is the base pair. So looking for London, New York for this pair to make a move. Right now, you're going to get some consolidation. You may get a little bit of movement in the Asian se session. Um, but this is something that you can take a trade on if you want to um, come London. And I'll put your stop, you want to be safe, you'll place your stop about 10, 15 pips. I will do 10, 15 pips below the low, which is X, and you should be pretty safe and just watch it go from there. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, talk to you.